Diabetes is a disease for which cellular medicine represents a major breakthrough. Around the world, more than 200 million people suffer from diabetes, and approximately 18.2 million Americans are affected by this disease. Cellular medicine provides a breakthrough in understanding the cause, prevention, and adjunct management of diabetes. Diabetes is a change in your cellular functions that results in having too much sugar, glucose, in the blood. The cause is a deficiency of insulin or a resistance to this hormone. Diabetic disorders are divided into two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes, or insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, is generally caused by a genetic defect that leads to the insufficient production of insulin in the body. This form of diabetes usually afflicts children and young adults, although the disease onset can occur at any age. Type 1 diabetes requires regular insulin injections to control the body's blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes, or non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, has a genetic basis as well and is associated with older age, obesity, a family history of diabetes, or physical inactivity. Type 2 diabetes strikes people of different races at different rates. With this type of diabetes, there is a combination of lower insulin production and a reduced body response to the hormone. Cellular medicine provides a new understanding of the primary causes of adult onset diabetes. Cellular medicine understands diabetes as a long-term deficiency of specific cellular nutrients that work in synergy in millions of cells in the pancreas, the organ that produces insulin, the liver, and the blood vessel walls. This new understanding explains the reason for the most severe consequence of diabetes circulatory problems. Diabetes also significantly increases the chance of developing arthrosclerotic deposits that by clogging the blood vessel passages increase the risk of heart attacks, foot amputation, or even blindness. The key to understanding the reason why cardiovascular complications are caused by diabetes lies in understanding the similarity of the molecular structure between vitamin C and sugar, glucose, molecules. Let's have a look inside the cells of an artery. You see the cell core, the nucleus, the cellular production plant, ribosomes, and the biological power plant, mitochondria. In the walls of each cell are small pumps that normally transport sugar or glucose molecules and vitamin C from the blood to the interior of these cells. These tiny biological pumps specialize in pumping sugar, glucose, and at the same time vitamin C molecules from the bloodstream into the cells comprising the blood vessel walls. In healthy persons, these pumps transport an optimal amount of sugar and vitamin C molecules from the bloodstream into the blood vessel walls. This enables normal cell metabolism and the proper functioning of blood vessel walls thus preventing cardiovascular diseases and other cardiovascular complications. To your intercellular pumps, vitamin C molecules so closely resemble sugar molecules they cannot tell the difference. If there is an abundance of sugar molecules in the blood, as is the case in a diabetic person, these pumps become clogged with sugar molecules. This results in an overload of sugar and a deficiency of vitamin C inside the cells comprising the blood vessel walls. Without sufficient vitamin C supply, the cells cannot produce enough collagen, resulting in a weakened blood vessel structure prone to malfunction. This can consequently lead to cardiovascular disease as the arteries eventually clog. As a result, blood flow becomes impaired and infarctions, a medical term for tissue death, can occur not only in the heart, but also just about anywhere in the body, such as in blood vessels in your legs or eyes. Dr. Rath Cellular Medicine has developed a new approach based on nutrient synergy, which has shown to be effective in managing diabetes naturally. 
In developing nutrient synergy, our scientists are experimentally selecting specific nutrients and combining them in specific amounts and ratios so that they act in teams to maximize their overall biological effectiveness. Dr. Rath's cellular medicine research proves that a constant supply of synergistic nutrients, including the vitamins C, E, and B, chromium, choline, and other specific cellular nutrients that work in a synergistic way can optimize metabolic balance in the cells. As a result, both insulin production and cellular responses to this hormone are improved, helping to improve sugar metabolism and maintain normal blood sugar levels. In addition, the synergistic action of cellular nutrients is essential for the natural prevention of diabetic cardiovascular complications because of their role in stabilizing the blood vessel wall structure. Nutrient synergy is the safest and most effective way to control the risk of coronary heart disease, the most frequent complication of diabetes, naturally. Clinical proof. These findings were confirmed in a six-month clinical trial which showed that the synergistic action of cellular nutrients could lower blood sugar levels by 23% and decrease levels of glycosylated hemoglobin, a marker of the damage to cell structures caused by elevated sugar levels by 9.3%.